hi guys welcome back to my channel i am back with another video <laughs> okay i'm not gonna do my little explosion today because this one is just gonna be a little story time but i am back again with another video as you can tell i've been dropping videos pretty consistently but um y'all this is just gonna be like a little sit down i'm not even like a story time but and I notice that I always say in my videos, like as you can tell by the thumbnail, I've been slacking on my thumbnails, but I'm going to get back to them. I promise I'm going to get back to my thumbnails as of right now. I'm just trying to record like I have like a little schedule, record, um, edit, then have posted. So that way the same day that a video posts, I will record edit the next day and already have it scheduled to post just so that way I can kind of keep a routine going and keep my videos consistent that way I'm not trying to pile up and edit multiple videos I know I did drop a video yesterday that was kind of late but <sighs> I just suck at vlogs like 2021 I'm gonna get better though and I'm also gonna have another video coming for you guys like a vision board type of thing that I want to have done just so that way once I post it by the end of the year I can see how much my channel has grown or what I've gotten better at. As you guys can tell though I have been trying to add some new effects and new edits and stuff. Um, yeah so if you want to see what this video is about then go ahead and keep on watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. And if you're liking seeing videos like this then go ahead and leave a comment down below for more content and videos that you guys want to see. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. So, yeah, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so today is really just going to be like a laid back, chill, short video. Um, short content I'm not trying to have you guys sitting here watching my long videos and vlogs and stuff like that um but I did post a countdown I'm gonna go ahead and put a picture of the countdown right here um yes it is official I am coming back to Houston um there is a lot of reasons why uh nothing bad as far as you know something bad happened or I did something or somebody did something or something like that it's just I'm ready to be home I miss my friends one of my friends is about to have a baby she has a baby girl on the way I'm not gonna be there for that you know I missed my niece crawling she's crawling now eating real food you know you know I'm just missing a lot I, and yes I do have two nieces because I have people that always say oh you always post one more than the other and out of respect like I said before I mentioned in another video, you know, my sister didn't want her posted until she was ready. But I have a bunch of videos and pictures and stuff and content coming soon with my other niece. So stay tuned for that. But today is pretty much just going to be a update. So right now, if you guys see me looking down, I'm just looking at my phone. Also, this is the purple case I got from Chien. It looks so cute on my phone. But anyways... So right now, I am currently working two jobs to save up some money um, so I can not only, one, come home faster, but just to save up some money. And then, uh, if God says so, then, you know, a trip that's coming up that I might be able to attend, hopefully, because um, it is one for the bucket list. Um, I'm working at a daycare and then at Walmart. Uh, the daycare is all right. And honestly, the only reason why I applied at the daycare is because I have the experience, so I knew it'd be easier for me to get the daycare job than to other jobs out here. And then, of course, Walmart is just something part-time. I have years and years of um, cashier experience. But, you guys, like, don't get me wrong. To work at a daycare, of course, you have to have patience and stuff. To work with kids because you know kids have different personalities and stuff like that it's not the kids it is crazy though because I'm gonna like miss the kids that I'm growing to know or knowing growing a relationship with whatever teacher student relationship um you know when you're a child care teacher I feel like you do play a major role in these kids lives and you do leave a mark um regardless of if it's good or bad but um and then Walmart is just Walmart cashier whatever you meet new people every day 
and you know the co-workers are okay out here at walmart um but y'all i'm just i'm just so ready to go like i cannot like okay you know it's a new place new state everything's different the weather is different the people are different everything but one thing i don't like is i know and i'm not just gonna say like it's just up here in minnesota because it's anywhere like i feel like if you're working at a job that you do not like then you need to find something that you're passionate about or something that you want to do because if not then is it really a job like you should love your job you should love you know feel comfortable going to your job your place of work you're there majority of the day like come on now but honestly like i'm so ready i i just i see why they call people down south like well not people down south but i see why i see why it's called southern hospitality because these people up here I mean if they sweet and kind I have yet to see it I don't like people that front I don't like slick remarks slick comments and this then the third I can't I can't deal with and I'm the type of person where especially at a job I feel like when you're upper management you can't tell people to not do something that you aren't doing correctly or you know you you see what I'm getting at like if I tell you, oh, you can't be on your phone, but yet this person is on their phone. I don't care if you're related. I don't care if you're best friends outside of work. When you're at work, you, you, this is a business. Like you need to run it like a business. Like, you know, one thing I can say is any daycare that I worked at and Nemo was in my class, I treated him as I treated the other students. I didn't show him any favoritism. I don't treat him specially. I don't treat him different. He don't get extras. He don't get none of that. Like period at all and my only thing is like when you go somewhere and when you hire somebody of course if you train them correctly they will work correctly they'll pick up bad habits from you might as well say bad employees or whatever the case may be but my only thing is if you make something prominent in the beginning it needs to stay that way throughout the entire endeavor or whatever it is that is going on like you know example if your child goes to a daycare, they won't get special treatment, but yet you see the special treatment. You see the favoritism. Like when you're at a job for less than two weeks and you are already kind of like noticing stuff, like honestly y'all, I started and I was just like, okay. People don't have to tell me anything. That's why, that's why when I'm training, um, I'm not always for the first week. I'm not always hands-on only reason is because I Watch I watch and see how the flow of things are I get to see how each kid is I kind of pick up You know and see what's going on and even with your co-workers like you shouldn't Why would you go to a place to work if you I'm not gonna say feel uncomfortable I don't feel uncomfortable because at the end of the day. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to do a job but you know it's just the drama it ain't even only the gossip my only thing is is like i've worked at a call center and never i mean and y'all everybody knows call centers are messy call centers are drama and i've never in my life like seen the the bullshit that i see oh my god yeah. pretty much you might as well say um you know, I, I don't know. I'm not the type of person to bash a company. I just give my honest opinion. This is just my honest opinion. Like, stop it. Get some help. <laughs> oh, it's just so much. Like I, like I said, I just see the favoritism. Things that are being told not to do are are still being done, or you know. It's just a lot of stuff that I think is very unprofessional. If I'm doing something unprofessional, because I'm not gonna sit here and say that I don't do things that I'm, you know, I, I'm not perfect. I don't do things correctly all the time or whatever, but I just feel like some of the stuff that I've seen. And, and one thing I can say, the daycares from Minnesota and Texas are completely different, like completely different. Cause I kind of look at it like, you know, the ratio, it's almost the same 
but in Houston, I've had three year old. I've had a three year old class where I had 15 kids a day, and in Minnesota, there's two teachers in a class. In Houston, it's that one teacher. Um, toddlers. I've had 10 toddlers by myself, not you know 10 or 12 toddlers to two teachers. Um, so I mean, it is very different. But, you know, I'm not one to tell people how to run their business. But at the same time, if you can't keep staff, then clearly it's not always the staffs or the employee problems. It could be management. But, you know, let's just skip that because it really has nothing to do with me. But my only thing is if I, I work there, I feel like you're part of the problem if you don't say anything. But I'm about to leave anyways. I don't have time. But, you know, it's, it's cool. The kids are okay. I have met some cool people that I do work with, you know, that are awesome. Um, and then Walmart is Walmart. I haven't been there that long, but it's okay. It's all right. I haven't had any problems or issues. Now, I have had like one issue because, you know, Another one. I have to wear the mask at Walmart and I do wear glasses. So sometimes when I'm wearing the mask and it fogs up my glasses, I like to pull it down a little bit just so my, like the fog can clear out. So I did, and I had my mask on like this, and I pulled it down like like right under my nose so the fog can clear out. And you know, the lady that I was ringing up, she even commented on my glasses. She was like, oh, those are nice. Where did you get it from? I was like, oh, I got them from Walmart. But you know, they're, like that was a couple years ago, so I'm pretty sure they don't have them anymore. The entire time I'm still like scanning her bag, bagging her stuff. She literally walked, you know, thank you for shopping at Walmart, have a good night. She walked straight to my manager and said, um, that young lady right there did not have her mask on correctly. Surprise, motherfucker. Literally, my mask was down for like two seconds. As soon as the fog cleared out, I pulled it right back up. Because, bitch, just as much as you ain't trying to get sick, I ain't trying to get sick either. I ain't, And then again, there's a whole plastic plexiglass in front and separating us. You were at least like two to three feet in front of me. Because you were standing on the outside of your basket. So it's not only the basket between us, it's also the register and the plexiglass. So, and then you have your mask on. So, and then as soon as she left, my manager was like, you know, we just got a complaint about you, about your mask. She was like, I understand you wearing glasses, it gets foggy, just try to keep it up. Or, you know, she just recommended me a type of mask that I could use that could help with the fog. Okay, I'm not tripping off that, but, you know, it's just... It's beyond me, cause oh, I cannot deal. Like I, I am not one to. I'm not. I'm not gonna say I'm a confrontational person, to where I just go up confronting people with every problem. I really don't, cause at the end of the day, if it ain't concerning me, I'm just gonna go ahead and mind my business. But my thing is, is you can't complain about something and don't do anything about it. And if you're not gonna do anything about it there's no use of complaining because things are going to still happen but you know like i said i'm not the one to tell people how to run their business but it's probably part of the reason why people don't like to work at a certain place or people don't get along or people stay to themselves like i said um i talk to who i talk to um i mean i i kind of go off energies like if your energy is gonna mess up my aura or my energy i'm not gonna consult with you i'm not gonna talk to you like that doesn't mean i don't like you don't get me wrong that is far from what that means um you know i'm cordial i'm an adult you're an adult good morning how are you and then we can keep it pushing there's no use to talking about what we did at home who we have on facebook snapchat instagram tiktok or whatever like the people that show me good energy are going to receive that type of energy from me so like i said if if I'm around you and you talk to me, we're going to have a conversation. But I'm actually a quiet person. Like, I don't really talk a lot to just... I'm not I'm not the life of the party, but I'm not also, like, an introvert. Like, I just stay to myself. I, I speak when I'm spoken to, pretty much. And, um, yeah, like, I'm not going to say I'm not a friendly person. But at the same time, what do we have to talk about at work? I don't have to hold a conversation with everybody at work. I mean, if it's regarding the job or the kids or, you know, I need help or I have a question. Okay, something like that. All right. But I don't have to come to work and 
be all holly jolly because that ain't the case and everybody ain't holly jolly either but at the same time i'm not here to make friends i'm here to do a job but like i said who am i to tell people how to run their business but yeah that's just a quick little update nemo was loving his school his teacher loves him she was like you i wouldn't have even known he was new because he just fits right in um he kind of doesn't want to go home but then he does cause sometimes he'll be like i'm ready to go back to houston and stuff like that but everything is okay i'm over the snow though it's not snowing today but it's still hella snow outside um but yeah this is just gonna be it a short little update for you guys just a little sit down video um i got off at 12 today um nemo gets home at like 3 30 between 3 20 to 3 30 um but I go to work tonight, so I'm probably just gonna go ahead and get ready for that, and then come home and go to sleep. I'm probably gonna edit this video tomorrow and have it out for you guys. Um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I'm gonna try to have this video posted tomorrow because I know I'm behind, because today was supposed to be an editing day because I was supposed to drop a video on Wednesday. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit it tonight or probably before I go to work so I can have it scheduled for Friday. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. And I, okay, so last year I also have to do this. Last year I know I did mention um, a video about the Yoni Pearls and I don't know what happened to that footage. I think I accidentally deleted it or something like that, whatever it was. But anyways, I ordered them again for you guys. So I will get that Yoni Pearl review out. Um, as a matter of fact, I got a notification that they were delivered today. So I might wait until Friday to record because you're supposed to leave them in for three days. I'll explain it all when when you see the review. But yeah, if you wanna see that, go ahead and keep on watching and don't forget to turn on your post notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Fuck you, baby Hopefully we don't have no babies I don't even wanna go back home Hopefully you don't